In this video, we're going to learn a technique for eye enhancement. The objective is to give the eyes more punch. The eyes are the focal point of a portrait photo, so if you can give them more punch, you'll make your photo stand out more. The tools we'll be using is the lasso tools and the curves adjustment layer. To start with, we're going to zoom in to 100%. So double click on the magnifying glass, we'll do that. Using the hands tool, I'm going to bring the eyes up into focus or into the stage. I'm now going to select the lasso tool, which is our third tool in our tools palette. Now, I want the lasso tool. You might have the polygonal or the magnetic lasso tool up, but we want them just the normal lasso tool. I'm going to now come over and select around one of Kate's eyes. We just want to go around the inside of the eye there. Now if I hold shift down, you see a little plus sign beside the lasso tool, I can add to the selection. I want to do that so I can select the other eye here. Doesn't matter if you're not totally accurate, and I'll show you why in a second. Now this eye isn't particularly smooth. I missed some along the edge here, so I'm going to hold shift down and I'm just going to add along the edge there. And I've probably gone a little bit too far here, so I'm actually going to go alt and just take a little bit off here. But again, you don't have to be too accurate. With both eyes selected, I'm now going to feather the selection. Now, feathering makes a gradual transition from being fully selected to being fully unselected. The easiest way to do that is to right mouse click on a selection and you'll find feather as one of your options. I'm going to choose a radius of 10 pixels. I'm going to go OK. Now, the next step is to add a curves adjustment layer. Now I want to put this actually on top of all the other layers so I'm moving up to my very top layer and I'm selecting that and I'm going down to my adjustment layer and I'm going to add another curves layer in. Now depending on the actual eye and the eye colors you're going to have different curves but generally you will increase the lights to make the eyes stand out more and generally I just keep some of the blacks in there so the pupil itself still remains black and it's not lightened. You see the difference there between on and off. It just makes the lights and the whites and the highlights in her eyes jump out. So I'm going to go OK. And double click on the hand. Move back out to 100%. And again, if I turn that layer on and off, you'll just see the difference, the very slight difference it has in her eyes.